All right, so a few weeks back, I released a video telling you guys that you wouldn't see any new video cards from NVIDIA for quite a while. And many of the comments were pretty much like, I didn't know what I was talking about. Of course, there's new cards coming out. Oh, Elric, you've been paid. I've been played. I hear that so many times. I've been paid. I really want to see these paychecks of where I'm getting paid because it's just gotten completely out of hand. Well, now check it out. Now Jensen has announced that it's going to be a long time before you see new NVIDIA cards. Bump, a bump. So basically he's walked in, he's dropped the mic, and everything that I told you turned out to be absolutely 100% the facts, just like I said the first time around. Now, why you guys all have to be so many dukes of doubt, I have no idea. I don't make videos and pull stuff out of my butt just to make a video. That never happens. Like I told you, and for some reason I don't know why you have trouble believing me, is that I called my contacts at NVIDIA and I asked them. And if there was going to be a new video card coming out or new video cards coming out, I would know because I would be included included in the briefing about those cards because before they come out first guess what oh yeah that's right we get briefed about the card so that when we get them we know just what the heck we're talking about when we do the reviews so there you have it the cards aren't going to be here for a while and i know that many of you are wondering going man this is just complete bs these cards are like two years old and honestly in some ways i admit i'm with you this has been the longest time between video card launches ever in the history of the computer industry. Seriously, it's been two years and I understand your guys' points, but here is the other shoe. For you AMD fans, I know this is probably gonna piss you off and you'll be angry, but right now, AMD is kind of halted on their new video cards, okay? So in essence, if currently Nvidia sells the most video cards and now they finally actually have stock and this is another point all of the nvidia cards are back in stock and pretty much priced at exactly what they're supposed to be nvidia is also saying this at the same time so if there's nothing out there really to compete with what they have on the market why would they shoot themselves in the foot and release these new 11 series cards it just wouldn't make any sense i mean after all you guys might not really realize this, but AMD is barely 12% of the video card sales in the entire world. Barely 12%. The rest of the percentage all falls over to NVIDIA. So you guys always say, oh, NVIDIA is doing this, they're doing that, they're trying to kill AMD. They're not trying to kill AMD. AMD and their video department, they're the ones who are killing themselves by not having cards that compete. And you guys can get mad all you want, but every single launch from AMD, and I'm not beating AMD up, these are just the facts. It's always hype. Oh yeah, this card's gonna blow away anything that Nvidia has in the market. It's gonna do it at a lower price. It's gonna be quieter, it's gonna be more powerful. Blah, 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 blah. That's what we hear, and then guess what? The card comes out, and all of a sudden the balloon goes And you find out that all that hype was, guess what? Exactly what it was. It was hype. The cards never really outperform, and you guys can say, oh, sure they do, man. You know, as the drivers mature two years later, it's competing. Okay, well, we're talking about launch day events. On launch day, it's been a long time since I've seen a card from AMD come out at launch day and beat the end time, excuse me, and beat the NVIDIA cards that it's competing against. It's been a long day in coming and I've yet to see it. Now, I know we all want it to happen. I want it to happen too. Sure, why not? The better the competition is in the market, the lower the pricing is. So if you're going to get mad at anybody, get mad at AMD because it's AMD who's not producing these products, not releasing these products onto the market. Plus, other countries don't have laws, but in America, we do have consumer protection laws. And I don't know if this is actually in play right now, but it could be in play. Like, let me just give you an example. Say that we bring in, I don't know, 100,000 TVs and they're all based on a certain technology, okay? But then two weeks later, some Australian company comes out with this technology that completely blows that crap out of the water. The US doesn't allow all these TVs from Australia to come in here and flood the market while all these other TVs here haven't been sold. A certain amount 
of the stock of the old TVs has to be sold off and be gone off the shelves before American law will let them bring in these new TVs. Now, I know for consumers, in a way, that's kind of like, you know, taking a little in the butt, but think about it. If you're a person who imports TVs and your business is importing TVs, you're probably wiping your brow and, and fucking saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you were able to sell your TVs instead of eating all that money which would mean lots and lots of money lost for people all over the world, especially for the people that are in American market selling these things. They would be left with all of this stock that they could not sell whatsoever. Now, I'm not sure if that's happening, but it could be happening. Let's just think about it right now. Nvidia drops the 11 series GPUs, let's just say next week. I'm just, I'm just pulling this out of a hat and just saying this, okay? All of a sudden, every AMD card that's on the market is now going to be substandard compared to that. So that means nobody's going to really be wanting to buy AMD cards. And that 12% market that I talked about just a minute ago, that 12% market will probably dry up to a 0% market, effectively knocking AMD completely out of the game. Now, once again, back to law. In America, we have laws that say that no one can be a monopoly and control the entire market. And trust me, if Nvidia dropped their new 11 series cards right now, they would dominate the market, completely dominate the market. They would knock AMD right off the shelf because who's gonna go buy a Vega 64 or a Vega 56 if it's only 100 or $200 less than a card from NVIDIA that completely blows it out of the water in every way, shape, or form. I know the new NVIDIA cards that will be coming out are gonna do 60 frames per second and 4K with no problem, which is a market that everybody's waiting for. AMD doesn't have anything that'll touch that right now. So if they drop these cards, they're effectively going to put AMD completely off the map. And American law won't have that because then at that time, NVIDIA would be the total monopoly on video cards. They would be the ruler, they'd be unquestioned because AMD doesn't have anything they, they can put to the market that's competitive at this time. So I know a lot of people get mad and they just think, oh my God, these guys are just still selling two-year-old cards. But in a lot of ways, Nvidia's hands are kind of tied with this. There's really no reason whatsoever for them to do this. If the cards are still selling, and believe me, they're selling. They're going off the shelves almost as fast as they hit the shelves due to the long, huge thing that we have with the mining craze where you couldn't even get your hands on a card. Well, now you can finally get your hands on a card. And I do agree with many of you. I do think the card should be cheaper than when they came on launch day. Now, obviously we know, we've talked about this before, all corporations, NVIDIA included, at the end of the day, they only care mainly about one thing, and that is making profit. They have a bunch of board members, and when these guys go and sit at the board, the board members sit there and look at them with dirty looks. You guys have seen it in movies from Tony Stark to Pym to everybody else in the Marvel Universe. The board will just vote you out. So if, you know, you walk into the board and you're like, oh yeah, hey, we're like losing money all over the place, but hey, it's cool, it's peace, brothers. You're going to lose your position on the board. So there's no way that anybody who's dealing with the board and the people who do the money is going to be able to go in there and say, oh, hey, we're losing money. And right now, NVIDIA is not losing money at all. Let's just think about it. Like we just said, two year old technology flying off the shelf because for the longest time there was a drought. So if there's a huge drought, what's the first thing that happens when you bring water back in? That water gets sucked up and gets filled into, to fill the place where the drought was at. And that's where it's at right now. So really at this moment in time, Nvidia has absolutely no reason to drop new video cards. And in fact, like I said, a couple, a couple seconds ago, minutes ago, whatever it was, you know, they could be being held by US law saying, hey, no way. You guys release these new 11 series cards. AMD doesn't have anything in the market. It will completely wipe out AMD video sales. And this may be happening. Like I said, I'm not absolutely 100% sure, but America does have a lot of laws that protects companies and businesses, which is actually a good thing because you really don't want a company to keep coming out and putting stuff out that blows away the previous generation stuff and then just have it sitting around on a shelf to be either you know, distributed for cheap or just wiped out. And I really don't think you guys wanna see AMD getting completely knocked off the map as far as the video card stuff goes. So it's really up to AMD. If AMD can come up with a great solution to compare with the newer cards and they release this card, I'm sure at that time, we will see Nvidia definitely speed up release dates. So 
let's just make up a fictional thing. We're gonna say at Christmas time, AMD comes up with some radical new card and they release it and it's totally kicking butt on the 1080 Ti and all that stuff. At that point, you can be damn well sure that Nvidia is gonna release new cards for a fact. But until that day happens, like Jensen said, it's going to be a long time coming before we see these new video cards. I'm Elric, you've been watching Tech in Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here on the channel for more tech tomorrow.